today we are going to take a look at playground ai a ai image generation editing software that is currently free to use and has the ability that i personally think could compete with photoshop with additional features that i wish other ai softwares had that mid journey definitely could use so here is just some example pictures and these do look like typical ai websites however there is a catch the thing is you can go ahead and edit them specific areas and type in whatever you want so let's go take a look at an example so here we are on the playground editor and i went ahead and added an image i created from mid journey version 5 and i gave it no prompts i simply added the image and take a look it already said think of a simple instruction to change the image like make the dog a cat or make it look like a painting so the fact that it can already recognize this thing as a dog that is already great to see so let's just go ahead and do that let's say make the dog a cat and then simply click on generate and look at this so here it just finished it did take quite a few seconds and here it has this little pop-up that showed and currently it's covering the cat so we'll see in just a second but here you can actually update the image quality. So based off of this level, it says low is this quality and then high is that quality. So for me, low looks more realistic and then high seems to be more abstract and more AI-like to where you can't really describe that type of setting. So let's click on okay. And then let's take a look at the result. So look at this, it is, Oh my goodness, how crazy is that? It actually replaced the face with the cat. The body, it looks like it added a little tail, I think, on the end. I'm not too sure what that is. But the suit, it's more furry now. But in terms of almost every single thing that is on here, it's exactly the same. The pizza looks perfect. Just the, It looks like the suit is the only thing they changed up. So now let's try this. You can go ahead and actually edit this image. So this is something that I really wish Mid Journey had because, for example, I've if you've ever used Mid Journey or even the other AI image generators, it shows you four different ones. Then you like one, you make some variations, but it'll change like literally like one or two things on the eyes or something. But sometimes you want it to be specific, like hey, add hair to this character or change the eye colors. So now, let's see, let's try this. Uh, put the cat in let's just say put the cat underwater just keep it simple for now and let's see here exclude from image describe details you don't want in your image like color objects or scenery and let's try this let's do exclude from image and let's say let's do a pizza and let's try this for now and then we're going to add some additional details because i want to see how powerful this playground ai is and see now, we, let's, let me see how fast it loads. And uh, <laughs> so here, now we have a cat underwater. The pizza has been transformed into a cat's face, looks like. So what I can do is let's go ahead and test out some additional factors. So what I want to do is let's go to edit this value right here and let's just max it out. And then let's try generating it again and see. Technically, I should probably put a prompt for the pizza. So when I say exclude pizza, then I'll put it. But look at this. So that is with the highest strength. So now let's go to the lowest strength and let's try exact same thing again. And this definitely feels much better in terms of editing because it's clearly... Okay, so now we see here. So here, this is very almost identical just the quality is horrific so let's try to do like maybe let's try to keep it at 10 i'll do 10 real quick see the result and then say put the cat underwater except we'll have and then replace pizza with uh let's see what what, what do the cats like with tuna tuna fish okay hit generate and let's see if it is anything to what I'm expecting and as you can see it's it's, it's enough but okay <laughs> let's go back to seven let's see let's see if this goes to what I wanted to see okay generate again 
and I should probably take this out because this is probably messing up the design because right now it's thinking the pizza is gone. So let's click exclude, generate one more time. And so far the speed is, I mean, it's, it's decent. It's five, six, seven seconds. So here, look at this. We got catfishes and it looks like it has tuna on the, on the pizza. So I guess it's, it's almost there. Maybe it had to be with a tuna fish sandwich. That might make more sense. And then let's test out some other things. So let's see quality and details. More steps will result in a higher quality image, but will take longer. So right now it looks like we're on 25. So let's just go fully. We're making using 50 instead. Okay, maybe not. Let's do 50 first. What was it? 25. So let's try 50. And let's see, because I don't want to be here for eight hours trying to render this. So let's try this again. See how close this gets. And then we also have this different numbers result in new variation of your image. Randomize each number to get new variations. So look, now we have some sandwiches. Let's let's just max it out. If it takes too long, it's fine, whatever. And we'll actually see if it can do it with it at least hopefully 30 seconds. And while we're looking, let's take a look at their menu. So we have here private sessions. So you have a pro plan. So let's actually take a look at the pro plan. That's actually surprisingly quick. I don't know why it said um, to not do it like that. And let's just, let's just max out 20, 20, and 150. See the power of Playground AI. And while that's loading, let's take a look at the pro. So it seems like free, create 1,000 images per day. Per day, wow. That's that's incredible. Per day, that's that's a lot. That's a lot of images. Use images commercially, wow. So you can actually use these two commercially already. That's incredible as well. With Mid Journey, it means like what 30 bucks a month and 60 and then you get fast hours which if you do it a lot you would run, I've already ran out of mine and it hasn't been even two weeks so this pricing looks much better no waiting okay so it's instant okay so I guess if anyone has pro definitely tell me how it is compared permanent private mode so this it seems like a much better version of these other AI softwares based off of these the only difference is that it gives you one variation and it's also editing the actual image it looks like and then here dal e you can get images from them as well so okay so so far the pro seems to be that plus the add-on so let's see what we did so yeah so okay now the quality so let's go back down to probably like let's just keep it let's try nine real quick let's do 10 let's do 10. 10 i'm not sure the 0 0.25 0 0.5 is how big of a difference that really does but so far this is quite interesting and I want to see some additional factors really quick just to test out but uh basically like uh there's an ability to where you can okay so this one <laughs> Jesus let's go less one more let's go back seven let's try one more time let me maybe I'll change the image quality so I can actually change this mid mid uh edit too which is kind of cool so if I, if I hit cancel oh, okay so now that just de destroyed it so let's try this again Let's look at this. Let's do. So we have stable diffusion 1.5, stable diffusion 2.1, and then DAO E2. Okay, so that requires a paid subscription. Stable diffusion 21. Looks like you need to join uh, Discord. And then let's see, image height, proper guidance. And then also we can actually add in. Okay, yeah, so see. let's do this. Let's do what I just had earlier. Cat eating tuna fish sandwich in space in an astronaut costume and let's generate this and yeah so so far you can see the difference in the image quality it's not as good as the mid journey one that i prompted but it i mean it looks like it's doing what it's doing and then it looks like a close-up portrait maybe let's try this try it again and look at this so this is all free currently versus mid journey and it's quick it's quite quick i think the only difference is definitely the realism isn't at that level obviously is mid journey 5 or even the other options but it's it's there it's upgrading it's definitely going there let's go to canvas now so now here we are on canvas so this one is the most powerful thing i think that could easily replace any photoshop style image editor especially at the level with ai so let's let's do this make it easy let's try um pizza dancing salsa in 
the Sahara Desert and make sure I probably have to capitalize. I have whatever. If I misspelled it, whatever. And then basically we'll generate the image and then we'll see what happens. So the image isn't the best, but no big deal. Let's try, um, let's make it easier for the AI. So let's say astronaut dancing. Let's see how that looks. So this is still currently in beta, so not too big of a deal. And then uh, there we go. Okay, so this is much better. So now check this out. One is I can hit a race and I can just straight up erase stuff. Two, hand tool pan, you can move it around, moving and selecting. And then this option right here, you can import an image. So let's go back, let's see, go back to uh, the normal settings. Let me go back here. So download, copy, delete, import image. And now I'm stuck on this screen. I don't even know how to get out of this. Maybe if I hit escape. Okay, so here we go. So now, so I just refreshed it, so check this out. This is what's really cool, check this out. Okay, so seems like if you get stuck like me, just refresh the page and then let's go here. And then check this out, let's put, um, let's do, uh, what, what face, let's make a dragon face and let's just hit generate. And if I'm doing this correctly, it's going to turn the astronaut into a dragon. That's ideally the, the result. So let's see how that works out. So look at this. <laughs> it did it, it changed it into a uh, dragon's face. So this is what I was talking about. And then for the shoes, let's put like um, giant white moon boot shoes. So it looks like the beta is taking quite a bit. So we're gonna go ahead and just cancel this one cause I don't wanna sit here forever. But you can see here the ability and the potential this has. And then also the board where we go ahead and upload your own image and then add whatever dimension and stuff you want to do there. So do let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Like and subscribe to see more and thank you for watching.